Let's take a look at Sasamgasana Hair Pose, which is a partial inversion that is going to bring energy to the brain while opening and magnetizing the spine and releasing trapped energy, held as tension in the shoulders. So we start in Balasana Child's Pose and we're going to grasp our heels. Thumbs are on the outsides of the feet. The fingers wrap around onto the insteps. We'll next draw our forehead in closer to the knees, lightly resting on the crown of the head as we inhale and lift the buttocks up, straightening the arms, pressing up through the legs as though we're pulling the spine forward here. And we're resisting that pull with a firm grip on the heels so that there isn't really any forward movement happening here. So most of the weight stays down through the legs as she pushes up and forward. Very little weight rests on the crown of the head. And you're going to feel a nice stretch here through the shoulders. We wanna keep the breath flowing smoothly and focus on the spinal energies as this pose helps to magnetize the spine. As we mentally affirm, I am master of my energy. I am master of myself. And to exit, we'll exhale as we bring the buttocks back to the heels. Let the back of the neck remain open and relaxed. Back into child pose, balasana. Nice neutral position to integrate the effects of sasamgasana, hair pose. And there are some variations. If you have long arms, when you grasp your heels, you probably won't even need to move your forehead in in order to get a real stretch in the position. So the head might need to be further away from the knees and that's great. If you have shorter arms or you're unable to reach your heels, you might find it helpful to curl your toes under, which is going to raise the heels up, making them a little bit more accessible. You can also grasp your hands around the backs of your thighs. You can also use a strap in this pose. If you have difficulty reaching those heels, we'll show you how to put a strap on. So you're gonna start standing on the strap. So the strap is running underneath the arches of the feet. You want them even as you stretch those straps up. Then we're gonna take one strap at a time, wrap it over the top of the foot, under the instep and out to the side and repeat that with the other foot. And then with one strap in each hand, we'll start to come onto our knees, bring the straps in front of you so you can see where they land. And then when you reach back, you want to try to reach the heels as if you were going to grasp the heels, okay? Very nice, so just straighten those wrists there, nice. Okay, so you can see how this would help someone who's unable to reach the heels. She's keeping her arms straight, very little weight on the crown of the head. And then she would exit back into child's pose. It's important to rest before you come to upright because you've just been inverted. So that was Sasamgasana, hair pose.